In the world of entertainment, Countess Vaughn's vibrant personality and undeniable talent have captivated audiences for decades. Join us as we explore the life and career of this multi-talented actress, singer, and entertainer. Born on August 8, 1978, Countess Vaughn's journey to stardom began in the vibrant streets of South Central Los Angeles. From an early age, she displayed a natural talent and charisma that set her apart from the crowd. Countess Vaughn's breakout role as Kimberly Ann Parker on Moshe propelled her into the spotlight, earning her widespread recognition and acclaim for her comedic timing and relatable portrayal of a teenage girl navigating life's ups and downs. Countess's creative journey extended beyond television as she pursued her love for music, using her soulful voice and introspective lyrics to connect with audiences on a deeper level. Like many in the spotlight, Countess faced her share of challenges, but her resilience and unwavering spirit allowed her to overcome obstacles and embrace her true self, inspiring others to do the same. Countess Vaughn is famous for her roles in series like Moshe and The Parkers, but with fame comes some sacrifices, like a heartbreaking abortion when she was only 18. Luckily, she's now the happy mother of two grown kids. It was the perfect solution for all of Vaughn's problems. But there was a surprise factor that entered the equation and that put Vaughn at a difficult crossroad. She got pregnant at 18. He even threatened with releasing an adult tape of the two that would tarnish her reputation. The Parkers was still in its early stage when Vaughn got the news, and as she revealed years later in an episode of Hollywood Davis, she had to make a painful decision, as she recalled. I knew that in Black Hollywood, a girl having a baby, they get rid of you. I had to do something about it. I had to make a decision to get rid of a child for my career. Vaughn had to go through the traumatic experience in silence. She knew how easy it would have been for the people in charge to cancel her show if they found out about her situation, and she wasn't willing to risk it. The actress was 36 when she shared the painful memory, and she told U.S. Weekly, that she really needed it to release all that I've been carrying all this time. Vaughn moved on, and Monique joined the Parkers, cast as her mother. The two had incredible chemistry on the screen, and the series was a success. It ran for five seasons until its cancellation in 2004. In 2002, Vaughn married Joseph James, and the following year, they welcomed a son, Jalen, who is now about to turn 18 years old. Sadly, the couple didn't last long, and Vaughn revealed their divorce in 2005. But by 2006, she had already found love again with David Richard Witten, her high school sweetheart. They share a daughter, Sasha, born in 2009, and who is her mother's twin. Vaughn and Witten got engaged in 2016, but two years later, she accused Witten of domestic violence and obtained a restriction order against him. She even claimed that Witten had thrown bleach on her face, trying to ruin her face, and subsequently, her acting career. Vaughn claimed that Witten had always felt insecure about her fame, and he even threatened with releasing an adult tape of the two that would tarnish her reputation. Despite all the setbacks she has faced in life, Vaughn continues being a fighter, and her children and work are her biggest priorities now. Once talking to TV One, Vaughn revealed that one of her favorite mommy moments was when she was planning an outing with her children, and she was willing to spend a lot. But Jalen and Sasha let her know they preferred staying inside. They didn't want to be in the public eye and preferred to spend alone time with their mom in their home. For Vaughn, it was proof that her children love her for who she is and not for what she can bring to the table or her fame. Vaughn, born in 1978, discovered her passion for the performing arts at age three when she started singing at church. Then, in 1988, she made her debut on national television as a contestant on Star Search, where she won the Junior Vocalist Champion title. After that, Vaughn made her acting debut in the fourth season of 227, where she gave life to child prodigy Alexandria DeWitt for only one season. More executives noticed Vaughn's talent in front of the cameras, and she appeared in other shows like Hang In with Mr. Cooper, 
Thea, and Rock before landing the role of Kim Parker in Moshe in 1996. Van's characterization as Brandy Norwood's Moshe's best friend made her reach a whole new level of fame and recognition. Kim Parker was the perfect sidekick on screen, but the tension was running high between the Norwood actresses once accused Vaughn of wanting to have more credit for her role on the show. Vaughn allegedly believed she was the reason why Moshe was so successful. And she misdirected her angry energy towards Norwood. After three years, executives presented Vaughn with a golden opportunity. She would leave Moshe and have her own sitcom, a spin-off where Kim Parker would be front and center. Norwood once accused Vaughn of wanting to have more credit for her role on the show. Vaughn allegedly believed she was the reason why Moshe was so successful. And she misdirected her angry energy towards Norwood. Over the years, the actress has always been open about her struggles with weight and self-esteem. She once shared how an adult actress made fun of her weight on the set of a sitcom. The actress even underwent extensive liposuction in a quest to look fitter. That kind of scrutiny led her to have low self-esteem and negatively impacted her self-image. According to Vaughn, her thyroid disease is the reason why her weight fluctuated over the years. The actress even underwent extensive liposuction in a quest to look fitter, and she shared that it was a necessary procedure for her to feel good about her post-baby body. It took a whole year for Vaughn's body to heal completely from the procedure. She has struggled with several other issues besides weight, including a scalp and a skin condition. Although she shot to fame at a young age, the actress' life has been full of ups and downs from when she was very young, as contrary to what it may seem. After three years, executives presented Vaughn with a golden opportunity. She would leave Moshe and have her own sitcom, a spin-off where Kim Parker would be front and center. Thank you for joining us as we celebrated the life and career of Countess Vaughn, a true embodiment of talent, resilience, and grace. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more stories of inspiration and empowerment.